Hello, today I'm gonna to build a house in Sims 4, but the challenge is that every room is a different occult. So let's go. I'm in my little wheel of names <laughs> and I have the different occults in the Sims. So I have vampire, werewolf, alien, spellcaster, mermaid, plant sim and ghost. Yes. And you're also probably thinking, Nora, why the heck are you doing this right now? Well, I thought, you know, since it's Easter, I can do some more Eastery things. And what's more Easter than making a house out of occults? No, the real reason is that I finally bought the Vampire's Pack because the packs are finally on sale and I only buy packs when they're on sale because I have no multi. So that's why I'm doing that. <laughs> I can finally make my occult house. So yeah, I'm gonna spin the wheel. Whatever occult we get, we gotta make a room out of that occult. And it's gonna be fun. I promise you, it's gonna be fun. All right. so this is the house. This is the shell. I'm gonna be using a little townhouse inspired i would believe yeah i think so i've got a little golf court in the background you know it's perfect for an occult house so let's spin for the outside first and for the love of god i hope i do not get an alien for the outside because i i don't know what that would be as a townhouse anyways let's spin oh okay okay a ghost a ghost hmm what would that be ghost house i mean it it, it would be spooky I love spooky. Maybe, a, yeah, maybe like a haunted house kind of wobs. <laughs> I can't say that word. Yeah, 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 I can see that. I can see that. Hold on. Just go to paranormal. Do they have anything? Oh, that's amazing. Let's go away from that. What would be a spooky vibe? Ooh, maybe this. It's kind of dirty. You know, the ghost is dead and the building is also long gone dead. You know, it's the vibe. And then the roof. Okay, the roof. Well, I feel like we should have some spiky things because it's, it's supposed to be spooky. Spooky. That doesn't fit at all. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> that looks horrible. What about that? No. <laughs> no. At this point, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Just don't, don't ask me. I'm trying to do something here and I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, doesn't that just fill you with the spooky vibes? Each time I see something like this, I get the spooks instantly. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. It won't go around here. What? Why not? Excuse me, yeah? Whatever. And then some scary, scary roof tiles. What's the scariest of them all? The this one. Yeah, I'm filled with fear now. What should I have on the top there? That looks like it's roof. Ronald, is this? No. Oh, what about this? No, that's too much. <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? That maybe? No. This? No. This? No. I don't know. I'm gonna go for that. Oh, what is that? <gasps> can I have that on here? That would be perfect. Wait, can I? Hold on. Oh, that's too high up. Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, no, no. I, I, I give up on that. I mean, it's something. I feel like, yeah, this house should be on the platform. Ghost loves platforms. In my mind, they do. And then we need a little terrace. That's real spooky. Maybe is that a vibe? And then we just continue on with it like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Now time for the stairs. Here's some white stairs. No. I think they should be black. Yes. Use. Where's the matching ones? Please say there's matching ones. There's not matching ones. They're made of glass. Oh, I know. Should it be white? No, that was a bad idea. Of course, the black is a different black from that black. Oh my god. I don't think the ghost would like any of these, to be quite honest. What happened to just sticking to one black color and then call it a day, you know? Then making a bajillion different black colors. That doesn't match either. I mean, yeah, sure. We're moving on. I cannot do this anymore. Okay, that is a spooky door if I've ever seen one because, whoa, yeah, that fits in well. Now, let's move on to the windows. My favorite hobby is just looking at windows in The Sims. I do really love it. Ooh, these windows are nice. But those are higher than the door. Oh, no. Should we change the door down? The door din? That's more of a vampire vibe, isn't it? That cross the line into vampirism. But is that ghostly enough? Let's see. Let's find out and see. Let's find out and see. Let's find out and watch. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I mean, this is kind of a spooky vibe if we use our imagination. <laughs> Maybe? Or these ones? Hold on. Okay, I think I can work with that. Maybe? No, these are more spooky. It's gotta be black. I feel that. I feel that in my soul. Boop, 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 boop. And the boop. Yeah. Okay, hold on. If we're gonna go for a townhouse, townhouses doesn't have windows on the sides because there's usually like buildings next to them. Like wall to wall. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. And to save my own sanity, you know? <laughs> oh no, that looks weird. Hmm. Interesting. What if I... 
it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. I mean, I can have a little deck out here so they can come out and play if they would want to. I don't know. Maybe they would like that. And maybe not. Okay, that door gotta go. And I gotta get a door that matches, at least. Hmm. Is that one cool or not? It's kind of cool. I'm gonna have that. <laughs> I made my decision. Okay, does it match? Yeah. Yeah. Let's use that then. It matches well enough. And then we can have that one for the backside. No, we need we need to stick to the style. Stick to the tempo, Nora. Or else everything will go wrong. And you know it. Ooh, that's fancy. No, that's too much. Can't even save myself with that one. It's so annoying that it has a mailbox because then we all know it's not the back door but you know the cults get confused sometimes so just bear with them and then the little beam to support the roof <laughs> It's supporting the roof, okay? It's supporting it. Don't mock it. It's doing a great job, okay? Right, I think we're done with the exterior of the house. Bobbidi bobbidi boop. Isn't it amazing? I know. I'm so proud. <laughs> now let's decorate the garden. What would a ghost garden look like? Like that? Maybe like that. There's a lot of dead trees all around. Ooh. The ghost would like that a lot, I feel like. Maybe some pumpkins. They would like pumpkins. Well and truly. They love decorating for Halloween. Maybe this has some ghost-like things. <gasps> you know, the ghost did some tagging. And do we blame the ghost for that? No, we do not. Oh, now I know. Now I know. We, of course, need to have this. Very ghost-like. <laughs> There it is, the seance table. And we're gonna have that in the back. You know, they love to do some seancing up in here. Some spooky, spooky chairs. That also fits for the outside. No? Okay. Well, the ghosts don't really care about water damage, but, uh, you know. Mm-hmm. And no seance table is complete without a little crystal ball. There we go. And a little outside table. Like did. That's where they talk about their little ghostly things. <laughs> well, that's a spooky plant if I've ever seen one. You know what? I think I'm done for the outside. It looks like a ghost made it, you know? Now, let's move on to the living room. And let's see what the cult vibes should be for the living room. Boop. Uh, oh, alien. Mm, what is an alien vibe? Like futuristic? Yeah, I feel futuristic-ish type of stuff. Ooh, okay, that's kind of alien. I do feel like an alien would like this. But is that too much? No, I like that. Let's go for that. Um, <laughs> There's not much space for a living room, is there? Oh, there's not. Well, let's make it work. Yeah, we need a nice couch and we need it now. Oh, okay, that's a choice. Can we get it in a funky color? We can. Let's get a nice green vibe. Yes, that's an ugly couch. But <laughs> Aliens, as we know, love TVs. How do I know of this? You don't want to know. Let's get that popping up in there. I think an alien would like a glass table. I don't know why, but I, I feel like they would. <laughs> this plant thingy is giving me the alien vibes right off the bat, you know. <laughs> And this plan as well. And by the way, if you haven't guessed it already, I'm not a builder. I don't know shit. I'm just building and see where I go. And that's it. That's alien. Ooh. Look, that's super alien. What do you mean? <laughs> then we can have these creepy plastic chairs. Yes. You can just sit here and talk about their creepy little things. That's what aliens do. No, you know what? Scratch that table. That one. That one is cool. I like that. And then I'm gonna have a little plant over there. Well, oh, that's kind of a cool rug. And we just have it in this half circle because alien don't just don't doesn't really know what's going on. That's very alien-like, I gotta say. Oh, what is that? Oh, I'm gonna have that. Oh, I think it's an alien grape. But now you live here. And then one of these. <gasps> Hold on. We can have him. Yes. Then we can have a little moon. A little moon to remind him of his home planet. I don't know if he's from the moon, but in my mind, it's not really. <gasps> we can have a little lava lamp. I feel like aliens enjoy a good lava lamp. Ooh, and this thing. If I size it down and then I put it on my shelf, I think I'm done with my beautiful alien living room. I mean, isn't it magnificent? I do you think so. You're not allowed to complain about that. Oh no, I need this one. How could I forget? Oh no, I can't size it down. Oh, that would have been too perfect. I had to be stopped somewhere and it was right there. On to the next room, which is the kitchen. And let's see what the kitchen brings us. One, two, three, generate. A plant sim. I don't know why I'm clapping. Okay, if you didn't know what a plant sim is, because it's not really a well-known occult in The Sims, because it's not really as obvious as Vampire or Werewolf, where you have all the stuff you already know, and so like bubbly bubbly wop. But a plant sim is this, basically. I don't really remember. You eat something, and then you turn into a plant sim, but then you turn back into a normal sim after a while, so it isn't like a full-on occult, but it is an occult. So now you know. So I have to make a kitchen that looks like a plant sim. Right. What would a plant sim like? Well, of course, a lot of 
plants. But what vibe? I'm feeling like a semi dark wood cottage core vibes. Yeah. Oh, but I do like that. Nora does like her Japanese stuff. That's not what we're doing tonight. Tonight, it's 1358. What is that style that's like a mix of Scandinavian and Japanese style? Is it just called Japandi? Or is that a panda bear and I'm just confused? Anyways, I don't know what's going on with that. What is that? <laughs> what am I doing? Counters. Okay. I want... I want. Mm. Maybe light brown? No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Oh, these don't have a back thingy thingy. All right. Can we get that in a funky color? Yeah, sure. Or do we want a kitchen that's like this? Maybe we want that. What is this kitchen called? A galley kitchen? Who knows? All right, let's get some walls. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. I don't know why, but I'm liking it. I like what I see. Or should it be just like that? I mean, it is a plant sim. Oy, that's too much plants. I can't do that. I'm sorry. But I can't get some nice flooring. That was not nice. Yeah. Oh, everything is just in the way. Then I'm gonna get a nice flowery table. Can we get one of those? Oh, <gasps> can we have that one or a red one? We also have that. Which one is gonna match? I mean, that has green. Yeah, I like that one. That's cute. Oh, we need it. We, okay. We need a stove and we need a sink, right? Hmm. Like maybe the sink should be here and the little stone. Now, do we want this one or this? This has wood, so it's more <laughs> plant-like. And then some cabinet. Which one matches? If nothing matches, I'm gonna scream. Yes, it matches. Oh no, you got to move. This is a tight squeeze of a kitchen, <laughs> but whatever. Sure, I I like that. Okie dokie. We shall just have a plant wall. Oh, that's just ugly. <gasps> that's really cute. Now just pretend that it's coming out of there. Yes. Yes. And of course, we need this land thingy thingy. <gasps> Can I have a little bunny? Whoa, what is that? That is... Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be a little bit, little bit, a little bit little chest. That could be a bread box though. <gasps> we can have this one. Can we fit that? We move that here and then we squeeze that in there. Yes, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Or should the table just have little tree stumps? No, you can't fit that to a table, I think. No, you can't. All right. Well, should it just have little wooden chairs? I feel like that's more of the vibe we're going for. <laughs> No, that's ugly. No, I changed my mind. No, no, no. We can have this. Yes. Oh, that's a light. Oh, we can have this one. <laughs> oh, why do I kind of like that? We can have another one. No, we can't fit that in anywhere. Darn it. Now for the curtains. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a nightmare. Okay, I'm going to get that one. And then I'm going to pretend that it goes all the way down. Yeah, I think I need to move that window. Where did I have this window? Right there? Yes. Now we're just going to pretend that that goes all the way down. I have another another window i need to do that on oh my gosh okay yikes big yikes is that the same size yeah all right gonna move that there right there no yeah now for some more wall decorations i'm just gonna cover this whole wall in plants that's a little too much i regret the, my decision we can have these these are nice we can have a little bag like a termite termite we can have this little garden kit right there Bop. i can have a little watering can because the plant seam needs water okay it needs a lot of water and of course we need a book about gardening and on the other side i'm gonna have a book stack of flower arrangement because that's what we need the plant sim needs to learn about its people all right it's just called learning about your own culture we need a little drinks tray and of course we can't forget the gardening bot a little picture frame of some plants of course i also want this little i'm not really sure what this is a stool but it looks cool and of course we can't forget hello the hose because the plant sim needs water right oh me pan gonna put the pan right there <laughs> all right Atari, that was the the plant sim kitchen it's magnificent <laughs> please don't bully me too much oh no we need a little carpet hold on yeah now we're done with the plant sim kitchen bada bing bada boom let's move on i don't want to alarm anyone but i kind of forgot stairs i truly did forget stairs well then we're gonna have them on the outside because i am not making any more stairs right any more stairs any more room for the stairs all right you know what you're just gonna get some ladders because that's what you deserve at this point you know there you go not my fault that my plans went to shit now we can go on to the bedroom so let's generate for the bedroom shall we we shall Bop. Ooh, a mermaid what does mermaids like so mermaids i'm thinking like beachy pinky bluey broom with like seashells i'm getting inspiration from my seashell pillow yeah so let's find a cute bed to pop this up with you would think that like island living would have some cool mermaid stuff but um they do not because they did mermaids so dirty in that pack i want a whole pack refresh just for mermaids mermaids don't have anything what did mermaids ever do to you 
seems. Because I want to know. Because what? Mermaids don't even have their own gravestone. It, they don't have anything cool. They don't have like the, the... They don't have anything. You just kind of become a mermaid and that's it. And then you can ask a lot of people if they're a mermaid and they never are. So I'm disappointed. Let's see if high school years has some type of mermaid-ish. No. I mean, I can keep these just in case I don't find anything else. And the chances for that are also pretty high. So mm, maybe just a carpet. I mean, that is kind of cool, but that isn't what I feel like a mermaid vibe is. That's more of an island vibe. Hmm. <gasps> you know what would have been perfect? A waterbed. That would have been too good. I wish we had a shell bed. I mean, I kind of like the colors of this one, but it has freaking mountains on it. And last time I checked, the mermaids are not on the mountains. So you got to go. What about this one? No, it's between these two. I mean, that's also kind of a vibe. Because that pillow kind of looks like a little shell. But this is more like beachy, I feel. Because if you look in the, in the island living pack, it also has, you know, these little find the words, Nora, find the words. String, string theory going on. But the, this kind of looks like shells. And it's like blue for the water. Okay, I'm gonna put this out here. And hopefully I won't forget about it. And I'm gonna stick with this for now. I'm gonna have the bed here. Here. Can I fit stuff in there? Who knows? Let's try. Because I want a nice bedside table at least. No, not really. But do mermaids need bedside tables yes they do i'm just gonna move me walls because the hallway is absurdly large then i'm gonna have my bed here <laughs> just changed around the entire room but whatever okay hold on what do mermaids like they like the water they like the beach they like the fish they like sparkly stuff oh that kind of looks like a little shell i don't like that you can have a little writing table there you can have this little mermaid chair this shell chair i mean oh she can't use that darn it oh she can use that now in my mind let's get some wallpaper up in here i mean there's not much what about this? No. Let's, let's try something like that. I don't know anymore. What if I have this little pool? So she can relax in that. She is a mermaid after all. I mean, that's beautiful. She's gonna love that. But this is cool. I can have this little shelf right there. And I can have my little fruit bowl. I'm gonna size that down a little bit. It's a teensy bit. Maybe I can have a little poof. A little poof moment over there. And then she can have this over her bed. I need a bigger one. Hold on. This one? Yeah. Beautiful. And then I can put up these. She would love these. Oh, she need a little yoga moment. Oh, I need some flooring. Oops, I forgot the flooring. Hey, my bed. Should I just have sand flooring? <laughs> uh, sure. Then she can have this. What is that? I don't know, but it looks kind of cool. And then this little picture. I have no idea what that is, but it's something. Maybe she needs a little towel. It's right there. <laughs> can get that one. She's gonna love it. Then she needs one of these. You know, if she want to be saved one day. Oh, she's gonna save someone. Ooh, what about this one? You can just hang that right there. Isn't that something? Ooh, and some sunscreen. A little plant in the corner. And then for the final touch, we need the sandal lights yes oh no what do i do here make him smaller it still doesn't fit oh boy sure yeah that was the mermaid room isn't it beauty isn't it magnificent i do think so myself now let's move on to the bathroom shall we we shall generate me wheel come on it's just the three big ones left oh my god it's gonna be a vampire bathroom beautiful okay it's kind of strange that that the balcony has a bathroom but i didn't think about that i need to think more but here we are but jesus let's do vampire bathroom we of course need to use this Ooh, stylish or should we go for red i feel red is the most vampire-ish they could ever be right Right. We need we need a good old bathtub or shower. No, I feel like vampires would go for a bathtub if they would. If they would, if they could. Uh, this one. Yes. This is a small bathroom, but uh, anyways, can't do anything about that. A vampire sink. Is there? There is. And a vampire toilet. Wow. Then a little carpet, maybe. Is it any tiny carpet? Now, vampires don't really need a mirror because I don't think they can use mirrors. Or actually, vampires nowadays can use mirrors. Because I think it wasn't it in the lore, in the vampire lore that vampires couldn't use mirrors because mirrors were used with silver and vampires couldn't interact with pure metals. But today, mirrors are not made with silver. They're made with aluminum. Anyways, that was my long story of how... Where did my mirror go? There it is. Anyways, that was my long story for explaining why I need a mirror for the bathroom. Oop, should I just have a little gargoyle? <laughs> Wait... Can I? Just right over the door. Why not? And then we need some, yes, some little cobwebs. And just like a little crack in the shower. We don't know what happened in that shower. And of course, we need a picture of little Vladdy Daddy over here. It's a teeny tiny one. No, we need him over the toilet. Just like that. Boop. Why isn't there like a gothic style in this panel? I need one. Where have I seen that picture before? I feel like I'm getting a flashback from something. But it's going up there. I'm just gonna cover the door with a curtain so nobody can see the door. You know, they need the 
privacy. They really do. It's, it's really big though. That it is. You can get a little towel rack in here. And then a little light. Where did it go? Oh, there. It's disappearing. Right, I'm done with the vampire bathroom. It's so ugly, actually. Like, honestly, it's ugly. But, you know, I'm gonna move on. And we're gonna move on to the office. Let's generate me office. Ooh, a spellcaster. That's perfect for an office. Okay, I'm excited for that. First of all, we need to get a bitchin' door. Where is the bitchin' door? There. Am I gonna get flanked for that? Who knows? Okay, I want the real mystical vibes. What are the real mystical vibes? That? That's kind of mystical. But the blue is also kind of mystical. Oh, that's a hard choice. No, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go for that. I'm not usually a fan of, like, warm tone wood. But right now, I'm feeling it. Oh, that door is ruining everything. Boo. Okay. What? Where am I going? Oh, but jeebus. Okay, please. Okay. I don't like this place anymore. Okay, what matches with the door? Kinda. Yeah, I think I like that. Then some flooring. Now, I would like to use some other type of flooring than this because I'm not really a big fan of that. But I don't think there's gonna be another flooring that matches well enough with these colors. Because that's just The Sims. You know what? No, no, I don't, I don't like this floor. Let's see. I'm gonna be here all day just doing this. I guess that's the closest. We're gonna go with this. Oh, oh, oh. yes, I'm gonna have my little cauldron right there. And then my little chair. I can have like a little, a little reading nook in here. Do I have space for that? I mean, not really. Ah, the spellcasters are always alone anyway, so. There we go. <laughs> now the walls doesn't really match. Excusa. Please say that there's one that matches in these. No. This is impossible. I had to change the colors. I'm sad about that, but um, that's how it's gotta be. All right, curtains, curtains, curtains. I feel like that can work. If I just remove all the windows first. Because The Sims is annoying like that. Then I need a cool little overlight. Oh, that's massive. Can I side side down? Yeah. Bada boom, bada bing. That one's kind of cool. Maybe a little mirror. Mirror. Oh, this one's cool. I dig that. No, the crystal is disturbing. Let's put all of the magic stuff on here. Beautiful. Magnificent. Yeah, that kind of works. Kind of, kind of. Can have that there. What book? Did I pick? One of the one tricks you can teach your familiar. That seems great. No little headstone. <laughs> Might have killed somebody. Who knows? Just have that there. No, they have so many books. Strolling around. Gonna have this little collection right here. Yes. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna put it right there. Uh, why not? I can just have a stack of books right there. Okay, I am done <laughs> with my spellcast room office thingy thingy. I mean, it's magnificent. It's beautiful. Let's move on to the last bathroom, which is here. Doesn't have a door yet, but we'll get to that. So let's generate for the last one. And I think it's no surprise that it's a frick frack werewolf occult. Let's go. A nice old werewolf bathroom. First of all, I'm just gonna... That looks un... <laughs> I don't know. I think that looks like what a werewolf would want. Journal. Gonna be a beautiful bathroom, this one. I mean, of course, of course I have to use that one. It's iconic. I think I'm going to go for a kind of industrial style. And this just screams werewolf to me. I don't know why. Or maybe. Okay, we don't have space for that, but I would if I could. And I can't. You know what? Werewolves, they scream a good old shower to me. Whoa. That is a werewolf shower if I've ever seen one. Now onto the sink. Ooh. Ah, oh, I kind of like that. That matches more with the vibe. The vibe that I'm cultivating today. Then, of course, this mirror right there. What is that? Industrial metal grate. <laughs> Just have a metal grate. <laughs> Under there. Yeah. Oh, oh, that can go there. Yes. And there's some cracks. Just some crickery cracks. That is their little cabinet that they put all their stuff in. They need a little firebox. Never know when you're gonna need that. Anything could happen in the shower. I tell you, anything could happen. Maybe some pipes. Yes. That is huge. And then, of course, we need a little newspaper because uh, they're messy. They're really messy. You know? Maybe a little garden plant right there. This one. I can squeeze it. No, this one. I'm gonna have this one right above the toilet. And I'm gonna have this one just right there. Just right there a little soap thing and a toilet roll just right there and i'm just gonna put up some snacks in case they get hungry you know you might get hungry when you're on the toilet you never know and that was the bathroom the nice old werewolf bathroom isn't it lovely i do believe so and that my friends was the whole frick frack house it's beautiful it's lovely it's everything that you could oh my gosh i almost forgot to remove the beds that would have been awkward yikes but yeah there's the house it's truly something truly truly is something and that was it for this time i don't know what this build is it's something please comment down below if you have any complaints i'm sure you have and don't forget to like and subscribe because it really really does help me out all right i'll see you next time goodbye